A subtle body is one of a series of psycho-spiritual constituents of living beings, according to various esoteric, occult, and mystical teachings. According to such beliefs each subtle body corresponds to a subtle plane of existence, in a hierarchy or great chain of being that culminates in the physical form. The subtle body is important in several Indian religions such as Hinduism, Buddhism and Jainism, mainly in the forms which focus on Tantra and Yoga. According to Bhagavad Gita, one of the most sacred texts of Hinduism, the subtle body is composed of mind, intelligence and ego, which controls the gross physical body. In Buddhist Tantra, it is also called the innate body or the uncommon means body .Other spiritual traditions teach similar ideas of a mystical or divine body, such as the most sacred body and True and genuine body. Jism Asli Hakichi in Sufism, the meridian system in Chinese religion, and the immortal body in Hermeticism. The various attributes of the subtle body are frequently described in terms of often obscure symbolism. Tantra features references to the sun and moon as well as various Indian rivers and deities, while Taoist alchemy speaks of cauldrons and cinnabar fields. Asian religions <inaudible> Hinduism Early mentions of subtle body Sanskrit, concepts appear in the Upanishads, particularly the earliest known theory appears in the Taittiriya Upanishads circa 4th or 5th centuries BCE theory of five bodies or selves. The Taittiriya differentiates between five increasingly subtle body, selves The Anamaya food body, physical body, self the prana maya body made of vital breath or prana the mano maya body made of mind the vijnana maya body made of consciousness the ananda maya bliss body the taittiriya also contains passages which suggests a theory of a subtle internal anatomy which includes the concept of a central channel nadi in later vedic texts called samhitas and brahmanas one also finds a theory of five winds or breaths vias pranas prana associated with inhalation apana associated with exhalation udana associated with distribution of breath within the body samana associated with digestion vyana associated with excretion of waste a millennium later, these concepts were adapted and refined by various spiritual traditions. The similar concept of the linga sarira is seen as the vehicle of consciousness in later samya, vedanta, and yoga, and is propelled by past life tendencies, or bhavas. Linga can be translated as, "...characteristic mark", or "...impermanence", and the term sarira vedanta as "...form", or "...mold". Karana or instrument is a synonymous term. In the classical Samya system of Isvarakasna, ca. 4th century CE, the linga is the characteristic mark of the transmigrating entity. It consists of 25 tattvas from eternal consciousness down to the five organs of sense, five of activity or Junanondria, and Karmandriya respectively and the five subtle elements that are the objects of sense tanmatras. The Samhyakarika says, the subtle body linga, previously arisen, unconfined, constant, inclusive of the Great One Mahat, etc., through the subtle elements, not having enjoyment, transmigrates, because of being endowed with bhavas conditions or dispositions as a picture does not exist without a support or as a shadow does not exist without a post and so forth so too the instrument linga or karana does not exist without that which is specific ie a subtle body the classical vedanta tradition developed the theory of the five bodies into the theory of the koshas sheaths or coverings which surround and obscure the self Atman. 
In classical Vedanta these are seen as obstacles to realization and traditions like Shankara's Advaita Vedanta had little interest in working with the subtle body. In Tantra traditions meanwhile Shaiva Kaula, Kashmir Shaivism and Buddhist Vajrayana, the subtle body was seen in a more positive light, offering potential for yogic practices which could lead to liberation. Tantric traditions contain the most complex theories of the subtle body, with sophisticated descriptions of energy nadis literally, stream or river, channels through which vayu and prana flows and chakras lit, circles, which are points of focus where nadis meet. The main channels, shared by both Hindu and Buddhist systems, are the central in Hindu systems, Susumna, in Buddhist, Avaduti, left and right in Hindu systems, Ida and Pingala, Buddhist, Lalana and Rasana. Further subsidiary channels are said to radiate outwards from the chakras, where the main channels meet. There are various chakra systems depending on the Tantra. The Netra Tantra describes six chakras, the Kaulajnana Nirnaya describes eight, and the Kabjakamata Tantra describes seven. The most widely known set of chakras, the modern Indian spiritual teacher Meha Baba stated that the subtle body is the vehicle of desires and vital forces. He held that the subtle body is one of three bodies with which the soul must cease to identify in order to realize God. Buddhism In Buddhist Tantra, the subtle body is termed the innate body or the uncommon means body. It is also called Suksma Sarira, rendered in Tibetan as Trawe Lu. The subtle body consists of thousands of subtle energy channels, nadis, which are conduits for energies or winds. Lung or prana and convergent chakras. According to Dagzital Kuranpoche, there are three main channels: nadis, central, left, and right. Their beginning point is located between a person's eyebrows. From there, they run upward to the crown chakra. The passage then parallels the spine, running through all seven chakras, the centers of subtle energy, and ending about two inches below the belly button. Buddhist tantras generally describe four or five chakras in the shape of a lotus with varying petals. For example, the Hevadra Tantra 8th century states, in the center of creation at the sexual organ a 64-petal lotus. In the center of essential nature at the heart an 8-petal lotus. In the center of enjoyment at the throat a 16-petal lotus. In the center of great bliss at the top of the head a 32 petal lotus in contrast the historically later Kalachakra tantra describes six chakras in vajrayana buddhism liberation is achieved through subtle body processes during completion stage practices such as the six yogas of naropa topic <laughs> western esotericism Theosophy H. P. Blavatsky's Theosophy, a hybrid form of 19th-century Western occultism, pointed to the perennial philosophy as the ancient source and common inheritance of all humanity and sought to systematically delineate and define the underlying uniformity of esoteric conception behind all great religious, philosophical traditions. The secret doctrine, and the key to theosophy pointed to the correspondence of the Vedantic concept of the five koshas with the Platonic and Pythagorean principles of human nature, with statements in the Zohar and the Christian Bible, and with the Brahmanical system of Tarika Raja Yoga. She showed how all these traditions could be better understood in their esoteric meaning by reference to a seven-fold subdivision of human nature as given in the Trans Himalayan. Arhat esoteric school, which refers to three principles other than the physical form which compose the incarnated personality. Prana, the life force, the breath of life. Linga Sharira, the double or astral body, the vehicle of prana. Karma Rupa, the desire body, 
the seat of animal desires and passions during incarnated existence, these are ruled by Manus, the human mind, which is dual in nature and which provides the link between the deathless, a mortal monad above and the transitory vestiges of incarnation. Lower Manus is linked with the Sukshmapadi in the Raja Yoga system or the human soul in the Theosophical conception. It allows for reason, judgment and choice in contact with the lower planes of earthly life. Manus is however, also potentially the vehicle of the higher mind, called Buddhi Manus or the causal body the united fifth and sixth principles. When not drawn downwards by identification with the transitory personality, by personal desires and afflictive emotions, the more intimate astral, the linga sharira is the invisible double of the human body, elsewhere referred to as the etheric body. It is the astral or design body which serves as a model or matrix for the physical. The linga sarira is connected with the capacity for clairvoyance and clairaudience and for much of the psychic phenomena which is currently unexplainable by modern science and psychology. Among its many unknown features and capacities, it can be separated or projected a limited distance from the body. When separated from the body it can be wounded by sharp objects. When it returns to the physical frame, the wound will be reflected in the physical counterpart, a phenomenon called repercussion. At death, it fuses with karma and the lower elements of the terrestrial mind called lower manus, and depending upon the severity of its earthly attachments, slowly disintegrates or decomposes. While in various stages of disintegration, it forms the post-mortem karma rupa, a disintegrating, soul-less and conscience-less entity which can under certain conditions appear in seances and is the source of spooks, shells, or apparitions of the dead. It is for this reason that Blavatsky condemned the practice of attempting to evoke or arouse the presence of deceased persons through mediums, psychics or other means. The higher part of the incarnated ray of Manus, containing the spiritual knowledge gathered during each life, if successfully completing the course of evolution, eventually self-consciously merges entirely into its divine source, which is not a body at all, but a divine, immortal essence called the Sutratma or thread soul in Eastern traditions. Though linked with the higher causes or apadis. In the Vedantic and Brahmanical traditions, Blavatsky explained that the spiritual soul within human nature would be more properly understood in terms of universal principles and spiritual essences, beyond time and space and absent of the any of the limitations of finite forms, devoid of human ego or personality. As the source and origin of Akashic wisdom and divine compassion, this higher triad of principles could yet become the foundation for an interminable series of voluntary reincarnations for the sake of aiding all others, via a purified, permanent astral vesture as in the case of a bodhisattvic nirmanakaya, the highest ideal of Mahayana Buddhism. Blavatskyan theosophy was co-opted, remixed and revised by many later authors who sought to lend authenticity and authority to their teachings. This can be seen for example in the writings of C.W. Ledbetter and Annie Besant where the astral, desire body was renamed the Mayavi Rupa, and then divided into two different bodies, the emotional and the mental. They also juggled with the terms and definitions given by Blavatsky and proposed a series of four subtle bodies. Etheric body, vehicle of prana. Emotional or astral body, vehicle of desires and emotions. Mental body, vehicle of the concrete or lower mind. Causal body, vehicle of the abstract or higher mind. Each body was given its own aura and set of chakras. Post-theosophists The later theosophical arrangement was taken up by Alice Bailey, and from there found its way with variations into the New Age worldview. It is also associated with the human aura observed through Curlian photography and Kiltner screens. The anthroposophical view of the human being found in Rudolf Steiner's anthroposophical teachings usually referred to only the etheric and astral bodies. 
However, Steiner also used a threefold classification of body, soul, and spirit as well as a sevenfold and a ninefold description. Max Heindel divided the subtle body into vital body made of ether, our instrument for specializing the vital energy of the sun, seen by clairvoyant vision to extend about an inch and a half outside the body, the desire body, which is our emotional nature and pervades both the vital and dense bodies, seen by clairvoyant vision to extend about 16 inches outside our visible body, related to the desire world, and the mental body, which functions like a mirror, reflects the outer world and enables the ego to transmit its commands as thought, word and action. The human being is seen as a threefold spirit, possessing a mind by which he governs the threefold body that he transmutes into a threefold soul. The human spirit aspect has emanated from itself the desire body to be transmuted into the emotional soul, the life spirit aspect has emanated from itself the vital body to be transmuted into the intellectual soul, the divine spirit aspect has emanated from itself the dense body to be transmuted into the conscious soul. Samuel Aunweor wrote extensively on the subtle vehicles, organizing them in accordance with the Kabbalistic tree of life. The common person only contains the lunar vehicles of emotion, astral body, thought, mental body, and will, causal body, concentrations of the collective animalistic intelligence, the evolution of the essence through the mineral, plant, and animal kingdoms. Becoming human means to have a soul, a solar astral body, solar mental body, and solar causal body. These bodies are constructed through a form of Tantra called White Tantrism. Barbara Brennan's account of the subtle bodies in her book's Hands of Light and Light Emerging refers to the subtle bodies as layers in the human energy field or aura. Causality proceeds downwards, each of the layers has its own characteristics and can have its own expression of disease, requiring individual healing. As with the Adhyar arrangement, each body or aura also has its own complement of chakras, which interrelate to those in the other layers. <laughs> Fourth way An interesting variant on the concept of subtle bodies is found in both alchemical Taoism and the Fourth way teachings of Gurdjieff and Auspensky, where it is said that one can create a subtle body, and hence achieve post-mortem immortality, through spiritual or yogic exercises. The «soul» then is not something one is born with, but something that one has to develop through esoteric practice. According to Rosenthal, 1997 in Gurdjieff's cosmology our nature is tripartite and is composed of the physical planetary, emotional astral, and mental spiritual bodies, in each person one of these three bodies ultimately achieves dominance." The fourth way as taught by Gurdjieff and Auspensky is a philosophy of developing the divine body which is gained when one has complete understanding and self-perfection. The ultimate task of the Fourth Way teachings is to harmoniously develop the four bodies into a single way. <laughs> Alistair Crowley and the Body of Light The work of the Body of Light was part of English author and occultist Alistair Crowley's System of Magic, saying in his Magic Book 4 that it must be developed by rigid discipline, including rituals and the "...assumption of God forms," as well as by practice and experience, from Crowley's Magic Without Tears ch. 81. One passes through the veil of the exterior world which, as in yoga, but in another sense, becomes "...unreal." By comparison as one passes beyond one creates a subtle body instrument is a better term called the body of light, this one develops and controls, it gains new powers as one progresses, usually by means of what is called initiation. Finally, one carries on almost one's whole life in this body of light, and achieves in its own way the mastery of the universe. See also Traditions Anthroposophy Etheric body Astral body 
Hermeticism Neoplatonism Rosicrucianism Rosicrucian Fellowship Sevenfold Constitution of Man Section Rosicrucian Fellowship Tenfold Constitution of Man Section Western Wisdom Teachings Philosophy Spiritism Spiritual Science Sufism Thelemic Mysticism Theosophy Septenary inspired by the five koshas of Vedanta other topics <laughs>